Hello everybody, welcome back to Byzantium where we are dealing with the Coalition War. Let's get started. Um, I need frickin' mercs. Unfortunately, I need to do it this way. So let's hope they all get together. I'll take 20,000 infantry merc, trust me. We just need them right now. Even if it means coming down here and fighting these guys, I will. Hey, Castile's getting, or Spain's getting their army together. I'll probably just recombine this army and call it one army for now. Our armies are getting together, though, so that's good news. Honestly, this is painful for our economy, but we need to do this. Let's get your troops together, guys. Cow how it looks at the end of the day as long as it looks like something. Sure, it's not like I have freaking manpower to send. I don't want to offer them anything. Because they want 100%, which is release all of this. These three. And then this one province. If it wasn't for all of Naples being released, which is what really caused me the issue originally, um, I would do it. Hemia's Emperor again. We are so far ahead administratively, I did not realize. We're six years at a time. There you go. Give us something. No, why would you... Oh my god. I hate this. Friendly's gonna attach. If you win, great. If you don't, that's gonna put us so far behind, it's not gonna make a difference. And look, here's frickin' Wallachia putting fucking troops everywhere. And I can't even peace out people yet. Did we win that battle? I don't even know. It looks like we did. Good. No, why? Get back to Zeta. Can I get access through you? Like, seriously. Hmm. That's right. It's not one army. You would not accept this yet, but we might be able to force them out. It's painful, man. So damn painful. Global trade. Yeah, great. I just spent a lot of points checking up. And now you're telling me global trade has finally occurred? You're 424. Get rid of some Diplo points. These are the kind of wars where you have to be very careful with how you're fighting them. Honestly. Get to Salento, please. Just get there. Okay. To Rome, please. You come here. Sure, Orenburg. Have access. I don't care. I did. Do you think I'd be really having issues with you? Bahumat, please. 
We're going to catch you, so that's good news. We destroyed some of your ships. That's a little bit of war score. Negative 31. God damn. Luckily, Austria's a vassal. The Pope's over there fighting him. Where are you going? You're going to Lower Dawn. Then where? We can still build more troops. Well, then by all means. If we still have money coming in, which we do, funny enough. Where are you going? Said I. You going to Russia? You might be. Oh, you're no guy. What the hell are you doing in this? Oh, wait, no, you joined the coalition. That makes sense. Like, what the hell are you doing here? Makes sense why they're doing here. Come on, you frickin' poop. Get the hell out of here. You're not winning this war. I'm not letting you. Even if it means I have to build and frickin' take out loans. It's fine. I will crush y'all. The sooner you understand that, the better. Okay, they're still running away. Freaking Yemen is down here, too. Like, seriously, guys. Get your ass over here. Like, now. I don't know if I can actually take Rome before anyone comes to reinforce it. Fine, let them fight it out. I don't care. They might be coming to reinforce right now, and if they are, that's an issue. Does anyone want out? No. No, you don't. Damn it. And by the time you reinforce that, it's not going to make a difference. You should reinforce this. If I could take Rome, it might be enough to piece them out. I appreciate that you're doing this. I really do, trust me. But I need you to like fight over there. Kershak. Yeah, I should force march you, huh? Go down, Kara. Where are you going? Like, are you you're walking you're walking through Russian territory, so I can't even reach you. We're winning this war now, funny enough. Like, it's slowly going in our favor, and I do mean slowly. I don't want anything, I just want you to give us white peace. Ongoing battles fifty eight. It's over here. Are there any more reinforcements in that area before those frickin' Savoy separatists or Savoy reinforcements get there? Walls breach. This war is in an opportune moment, but it's fine. If I could take this capital fort, we'd be in good shape. Uh, can I go here and ask you for a merchant? Uh, Admiral, there you go, thank you. Give me one. I don't really need you, but I could use that. If I can force Rome out, we're being in good shape. Siege of Kanik has just ended. Another thing is, if we wait for their autonomy or their unrest to go so high, we could probably force them to fight us regardless. Um, I cannot catch you. Where are you going? Guria, go. Maybe I can catch you if I have both of you working.
Let's hope those guys catch people. Oh, that's a good battle. Okay. Don't chase them down anymore. Not the negative. Oh, good. We're going to catch you before you cross the straight. These are good, good battles, honestly. Especially since the Golden Horde is completely sieged, so they are not able to train troops. Ah, oh, well, actually, they're not completely sieged. They need one more province, but... It's all right. Where are you headed? Siege of Rome has fallen. Good. Pope. You're making gains. You just lost your capital fort, and you're making gains. Yeah, look, we got a light. Very nice. Unfortunately, you're winning the battles, and that's really what's costing us. I don't agree with your making gains, but I guess you are winning a lot of battles. That much is for sure. Damn it, they got 30,000. They got 80, 58,000 troops down here, and I can't fight them. Negative 11, huh? Good. Means you lost a pretty major battle. You're still making gains according to yourself. I don't agree with that with you holding, with the capital being sieged, but sure. Yeah, minus 10 unrest. Or plus 10 unrest. Good. Let's keep stack wiping. Fine. That's it. Get the hell away from me. Okay. Walk out. That's fine. That's utterly fine. Let's get rid of you. We're going to work on you. Trust me. You're coming. Your time is coming. Like 15 years, that's nothing. We'll get you. Okay, we're making money again. We can freaking do you. Let's get rid of your damn fort. Thankfully, actually, they managed to take care of our rebels, so that's fine. This is a major, major peace deal with most of the world, which is fine. Ottomans will be in June. <coughs> Cover southern Italy. Cover Antioch. That one makes sense. Man, that was painful. But it wasn't a coalition war that went on for too long. We only lost four territories. We will get them back, so it's not really an issue. Well, it's an issue, but it's not too big of an issue. Okay. You will stop here. And then we said 26...
make sure we should give you all the damaged ones. I'm just making an army at zero and leaving Constantinople for now. Let's hand back the cavalry. And of course, you're going to be the one that repairs the most, right? Like, you'll be the first on the repair docket. Let's split you two up. One of you here. Actually, one of you here. Um, you can go to Sinope. Okay, we're getting rid of rebels. You're on our list, but I don't really need you. Can I vassalize you instead? No, because of our base differences. Okay. Sure, you want an alliance, but I don't really want to because that's going to be painful for me. But that would... No, I'm going to decline that. Um, speaking of which, I don't want military access anymore. Um, France? Marriage, please? Xavier, huh? And then who else? You. I don't need military access, but I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm coming for you guys. You. Who are you allied to? Yemen and Oman. relations. Don't know if that really means better relations over time, but we'll find out, I guess. Okay, so what do we need to do this next time we play? Like, not next time, right? The next war against the coalition, because this probably won't be the last coalition where we fight. Um, don't let your manpower get so freaking low. That tends to help. Get to ASO, please. Speaking of which, we're going to want to fight you pretty soon. Um, you... Yeah, like, we spent so much trying to keep these guys happy. Send them whatever they need. Manpower, thankfully, is not too far off, though. Uh, point to church. I'm going to demand Diplo from you. So finally, you've been converted. I could demand admin. I don't really see the point. Um, military does make sense, though. So let's call a diet. I'm going to request a general. And then I'm going to demand 100 points. Mr. General is a 424. That's pretty good. Then you should get another general. And how are we doing here? We have enough for more manpower, or more force limits, which is pretty good. Another army or something, another legion. Speaking of which, I did not rename you again. Damn it. Hate doing this, but it makes sense. Uh, first legion. We don't have very many years left, but we're going to need to use this to our advantage. At the very least, we'll get the Basilius. That much for sure, I can guarantee. So I'll feel happy if that at least happens. Um, Iraq, we could probably get you to be happy. Some pretty relations with you. I ended up just coring that province. <laughs> Your opinion with me has to be positive, unfortunately. But we'll see. Portugal has no air. Truce with Persia has just ended, as has the one with Hormones. That's annoying. You have no air, Den? Hopefully we have enough time that these guys won't want to declare war, but we'll see. Let's shift consolidate a bit. You're reinforcing now, of course. It's 
fine. We'll get some more manpower coming in. Just with the Ottomans. Okay, this is a war that we can fight. Go. And then the Mamelukian War I would love to fight, but with 38,000 troops on their side and me not even having... Well, we have 58,000, but we'd also have to siege. That's a little bit painful. For the Orthodox faith, George Alexis. Okay. I'm going to kill you all finally, so that'll be very good for me. Just some Neapolitan separatists that are having issues. It's these gentlemen here that are having issues, really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Iso, please. Teke, please. Persia is supporting your independence, huh? <coughs> yeah, I don't want to fully annex you. How much money do you have left? 304 ducats? I'll take them all. And the question is, do the 180 points now help out with that minus 20% administration efficiency? So it's not really worth it yet, unless we have a major war, where we're going to get a lot of territory. And that's the last of the Ottoman Turks. Thank freaking God. The Phoenix rises. The Turks have been driven from Anatolia. Very nice. people are pleased. The Turks are dead, so that's good news. At least the Turkish Empire, maybe not the Turkish culture, but... This is annoying. Clergy losing power. Okay, family ties. You would almost accept if you had less trust. Damn. Or if I was super strong. You died. Let's pick up another one. <clears throat> We're ready to tech up, honestly, in two years, but we don't want to tech up yet. So let's spend a little bit of points here to get our global trade, which is apparently already present. Just start spreading. There are just not enough provinces that have it, otherwise we would do it. Manpower! At least one stack has full manpower. That is ridiculously good for us here. Which means we might actually stand off chance if we declare a war against these guys soon. I do want, like, a lot of their territory, though. That's the issue. Like, up to here, at the very least. I don't need much of Egypt. I just need the cosine. If we're going to take the cosine, we might as well take this state, because Cairo's in it. We'll work our way through. It's fine. Come here. My question for you is, I have all this money. I can build training fields now. Good. Build training fields. It's a lot of ducats, but it is well freaking worth it. 
Russia has just declared a war. It's a little bit scary because they're going to have a border with us pretty soon. And a border could come to. could have us come to blows pretty soon as well. Okay, we're out of money. Apparently. <coughs> we're making 25 ducats a month. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to reclaim this. Oh, you're Orthodox. Build a spy network then. Let's get our two cores done. Reinforcing 11 stacks. Trust me, Persia. I'm, you're on my shit list. If there was a strong Indian nation, I would probably ally them right now. I know what you're saying. Why didn't you get this alliance? I want the vassalage. I don't want the alliance. Which means I gotta become stronger. Luckily, I didn't give up anything here. So if this piece goes well for me, which I think it can, we want to declare it. That'll break your alliance with France, which you actually don't have, so that's fine. Okay, never mind. You bastards disallying, or not allying us anymore. It's annoying. <coughs> okay, it's been another month. Another year. Hmm. Now, nah, give me that seven fifty, please. We need the manpower. That's the honest and honest truth. Like, manpower tends to be an issue, but we just need more. Purchase just freaking slandering our merchants. That's fine. You allied to anyone? Just Riga. We could probably fight you for just those two territories, which is actually going to be difficult if Russia gets them before I do. Move troops up here. Not having to worry too much about walking around here would be good. General just passed away. Damn. What are you at war for? Just for them, Tavolv. Tambov. So I don't really care. You know, hopefully you peace out Lithuanian. I'm able to take some Lithuanian cores for myself, but we'll see. Send them what they need. Sure. For serfdom. Lose legitimacy. Lose legitimacy. Fortunately, that pissed off the nobility. Incorruptible death of spies. Fine. We'll deal with these guys soon enough. I need to get the nobility happy with me, if possible. Could piss them off even further and get troops.
Could also give him this one territory. Give him this one territory. Keep him a little bit happier. Get some more reinforcements coming in, please. All right. Well, that should be the end of the episode, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. Thank you very much for watching. Lithuania does have a bit of an army left. Support the church authority. Okay, you've released these territories from your control. <coughs> Go north, so I don't have to fight you. Riga will still defend them, unfortunately. I don't want them to take it. No. I need these ports if I'm ever going to do anything. You also don't have any claims. We could probably use that to our advantage. Build a marketplace. Didn't I know you could get a build a marketplace? Persia declared war on you. You bastards. What are you doing with you? I'm probably going to take all of this. Alright, New Year though. Hungary is sending us a little bit of money. Good. Good. I didn't really need the cavalry shock, but we'll take it. New mission idea. Establish Sunday schools. Even more missionary strength, because we're ridiculously overpowered in strength. Okay. Thank you very much for watching, though. Next episode, we will be hopefully eating some territory from these guys, or fighting the Mamluks. I just don't know yet. Ottomans are dead, though, so gay. Small victories. And in four years, the coalition will be out, and we can declare war if we so desire. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.